So I welcome you, Dr. Sushmita Sahu ma'am from Anand Gujarat you, to deliver an invited lecture on the uh, topic botany and employment, uh, how this subject is actually relevant to the employment for the students. And thank you so much. And for the formal welcome of Dr. Sushmita Sahu ma'am, I would like to call uh, Ms. Chaitanya Raj from BSc Part 1 Biology of our college to uh, for the formal welcome of Dr. Sushmita Sahu ma'am, today's speaker from Gujarat. Uh, Chaitanya, you are on. Good morning to all of you present over here. Today, I am Chaitanya the first speaker. So now welcome Dr. Dr. Sushmita Saha is working as assistant professor at NV Patel College of Pune and applied sciences in Vallabha Vidyanagar Anand, Gujarat. She is coordinator of Eco Club of MOEF GOI. She is a jury member of National Children Science Congress. She has projects of UGC and DST. She is AGN Tata Fellowship winner. She has been research person of vacation training program of DBTGOI. She is also a coordinator of Nature Club and a great audit member. She has also authored books in botany and environment sciences. She has a lot of international and national journal publications. She has research scholars pursuing PhD. Over here today, I welcome you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, uh, Ardas sir, Dr. Ardas Pande sir, and my dear students. So I'm really glad that uh, I'll be addressing uh, uh, to uh, people of Northern India. I have never, uh, I have been to Simap and uh, in Lucknow and uh, I have been to Uttar Pradesh, but uh, it'll be my first time uh, on a um, uh, online basis that I'll be uh, addressing to students and really uh, feeling very fortunate to address you all. So let us directly go to the uh, uh, slides and uh, I hope that this is visible to all. I just want to ensure that it's visible. Uh, Dr. Pandey, sir, is it visible now? Should I start it? Uh, Is it visible now? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay, ma'am. Please go ahead. Okay, okay. The rest of the people are off their mic. बाकी सभी लोग अपना माइक और अपना वीडियो ऑफ कर लें। Yes, ma'am. Please go ahead. Okay. So good day to you all. And today uh, I'm here to uh, address you all, all, all my botany students. So, so now this is the topic for today is uh, botany and employment. So let's see how this wonderful su subject and uh, how this wonderful subject has a good uh, career for us ahead and you young students should be uh, aware of it. So I'll just share a bit of my knowledge, whatever I, wherever I have been experiencing it. So uh, maybe there are a lot of things which I may not be able to share, but whatever little knowledge I have, I'm going to share it with you. And I hope it's going to uh, have some um, uh, um, memorable experience for you after you hear it. So wishing a, a, a nice uh, talk with you all people. Let's see if we can share some moments also. So before we start this topic, let us see what botany is. It's uh, actually botany is the scientific study of the plants with its physiology, its structure, its genetics, ecology, the distribution of the plants, the classification of the plants and the economic importance of the plants. And the study of plants is really a very interesting thing. Anyone taking this field should do it with interest because in botany, we have the diversity of plants and the wonderful plants of botany is that Nepenthes plants. That's one of the beautiful plant that uh, everybody uh, will be happy to see it and uh, have an experience with it. Or Rafflesia, the world's largest flower, the beautiful orchids with the complexity in the flowers and the oldest sequoia plants. So the diversity is immense in the plants. And 
a person who wants to study botany should have a keen interest in evaluating many aspects of plant life. You should have a love for this plant life. There should be a lot of accuracy, good concentration and patience as well. Now the importance of plants. Oxygen is a key product of the plants, which is a source of life for us. And the human nutrition, it's so important for everyone. So to increase the yield of the food, we need the botanist's role is very much is, is very much in present there. And it is a source of medicine. The plants is a source of so many medicines. And there are so many unwanted plants also. So how do we minimize the weeds? There also the role of the botanist comes into play. And when you are speaking of botany, what type of things we can do when we are in contact with botany? Botany, you can do lots of analytical works and the research topics in botany, it, start, it has a huge range like from biodiversity, evolution, biostatistics, crop production, environmental pollution and environmental stress. These are the important areas where research can be done in a very good way and that should be the focus of the young students like you all. Now the courses, the university as, the, as well as the colleges have also been given the status of the BSc courses, the MSc courses, the MPhil and PhD courses. So the education required for being a botanist starts with a BSc degree. You can have a BSc botany as well as environmental science or biology. Some colleges have these type of courses also. Then in MSc, PhD, you can do in botany or the life fields like microbiology and ecology. There are the botany of plant sciences in the courses in schools also. BSc is taken as an honors in college and in the universities like we have it over here in, um, in the MS University in Baroda. We have honors courses in uh, the university also where these BSc students can also work in the botanical gardens and the herbariums. These are all associated from the BSc um, level itself. And you have your MSc botany where there are dissertation projects and research projects are given where the students they start the career of research from this level and sponsorship of their research is also given from uh, uh, right from the beginning even from uh, students those who are not aware of it can claim it from the msc level also and the phd degree program where when you are a botany student and you want to start your research career in botany so it starts with a phd degree now about the universities, maybe the number may vary, but uh, somewhat what I have collected is uh, supposing there are 935 industries with 50 central universities, there are 409 state universities and deemed universities as well as private universities. So uh, there are so many places where you can take your degree from these places also. The focus areas is UGC is having the potential for uh, excellence in the university. So the universities in which the botany, the focus areas are there, what are the focus areas in those universities? I'll just touch a few of them. Like we have the BHU where genomics and proteomics are the UGC potential for excellence focus areas. In JNU, it's genetics, genomics, and biotechnology. Uh, then in Karnataka University in Harvard, you have the anti-tumor studies. Then uh, Madurai Kamraj University, nanoscience biology. At Northeast Hill University, you have the biosciences and there a lot of uh, tissue culture work on orchids also goes on. And Punjab University, biotechnology is the focus. Calcutta University, modern biology is the focus. Madras University, herbal sciences. And in Mumbai University, green technology. These are the UGC potential for excellence uh, focus areas given to these universities. In places of work, when you are working with plants, it opens the doors to many careers. So you can work in the labs as well as in greenhouses if it is indoors and outdoors. There are the farming fields, the forests, 
the wide areas across the globe. Now, what are the different institutes where, as a botanist, you can start your work and career as well? That is the Botanical Survey of India. We have the NIO, National Institute of Oceanography, uh, Ayush, even CSIR is there, ICR, IARI, and ICFRI, which is in Dehradun. It's a beautiful places. These are the lovely places and the labs which are there. There, as a botanist, you can start your careers in indoor as well as outdoor fields. Then, what are the jobs in botany? So, if I take the ascending order or a chronological order of the jobs, all the jobs have their own uh, interest and their own, uh, like, uh, wherever you have your uh, facilities and the degrees, that way you can have the jobs in botany. It can be a botanical assistant, a scientific assistant, preservation assistant, you can be a research assistant, a field man, herbarium keeper, curator. Then as a supplementary botanist, a taxonomist. Taxonomy is an area which needs to be covered very well because of the identification of the plants and the beauty of nature that lies with the plants, innumerable plants that needs to be identified also. So you can go for, if you uh, are very much interested in this field, you can identify some new species. And this is an area where not a focus should be kept if we are keeping botany as one of our subjects also. As agronomists, ecologists, mycologists, plant breeder, and horticulturists. Then the places where you can work the jobs in botany. See, like uh, the industries, like the chemical industries, you can work in food companies, arboretum, forest services, the biotechnology firms, oil industries, land management agencies, seed and nursery companies, plant health inspection services, in the national parks, in biological supply houses, plant resource labs, and in the educational institutes. So these are the various places, diversity of the places where you can have a job when you have botany as your subject. Then work of a plant scientist. You can be an industrial ecologist in factories, the industrial sites where you can save the ecosystems. The industrial ecologists, they take the samples from the waterways and if the chemicals from the factories are le leaking into the water, they try uh, uh, see that, uh, like with the help of different types of uh, treatment plants, these can be taken into account. They plan to filter to protect the local plants from wilting. In environmental field, they find ways of harvesting too. Then types of work, as an industrial ecologist, in fact, trees and industrial sites, you can prevent the ecosystems from getting degraded as environmental scientists. As a plant scientist, if you are in botany, you can go for the crop yields. Then, when botany is your subject, the types of work are in. As a conservationist, you can conserve the soil, the land, and the water to conserve the natural resources, to prevent the underground aquifers from drying, and you can go for research for new fertile soil and sustain the land. And that there, there can be a career in soil and water conservation services, and planting trees to prevent the erosion. And the role of a horticulturist would be to develop the plants, develop new and unique varieties, and develop allelopathy which is very important for different plant types of plants growing together. So understanding allelopathy would be a very big task of a botanist. The role, how we are uh, contributing to the society, provide better food supplies, give openings for ecologists in government and in the industry, and a major role, work for the air pollution, water pollution, and soil pollution. A botanist can work for new drugs and medicines. Then there are botanical explorers, 
and the best and there are so many different types of jobs in the college and university in the form of faculty posts of botany so these are at the state and national level colleges and universities then various types of services the botanists can work in the medicinal and plant research lab the germplasm research lab plant inspection services national aeronautics and space institutions environment protection agency nature conservation and industries are the third major employer of plant biologists and the drug companies various spheres of the work of the botanists the industries employing the botanists the plant biologists the drug companies employ them the oil industries there also there is the role of the botanists the chemical industries paper industry paper companies seed and nursery companies then you can there are fruit growers which are a, a very important um, uh, contribution to the society the medicinal plant growers so the medicinal plant growers are also very important and you have a very big role for providing to the industries and the you know, like the people doing uh, production of med medicines and all that so the role of medicinal plant growers is very important the food companies and the fermentation industries so these are all the industries where botanists have a good role and can get their employment there the diversity in the uh, of the work biological supply houses biotech firms genetically altered food crops and there is a great diversity in the plant science satisfying the career in botany and plant science is a large growing field with more employability what are the diverse career options you are interested to work in the outdoor you can work as an ecologist as a taxonomist as a forester and a plant explorer so anyone who have the um, they have a, a great determination to work for, with the plants with nature you can do, go for these jobs ecologist taxonomist forester and forest explorers these have a lot of great interest also and it's a, a great work for the students those who would love for going for trekking and identifying the plants and getting new types of plants and the you can uh, be close to nature with this type of jobs then if you want a mathematical position and you are interested in mathematical areas you can work in the field of genetics biophysics and developmental botany so these all uh, fields can um they can have your quench your uh, interest for those type of subjects interest towards you are leaning towards those type of subjects with botany then you can go for these subjects you have a chemistry interest within you then you can be a plant biochemist a molecular biologist and a plant physiologist and these are of great importance when we go into it these areas have lot of interest not only for in the area of plant sciences but in the contribution as a whole botanists we can specialize in different fields when i hope you must be knowing when you are in your post graduations you have these type of subjects in your specializations so you can choose your specialization from there as well as you narrow down to your specialization when you are doing your research interest so you can specialize in ecology taxonomy genetics marine botany paleobotany molecular biology plant anatomy and biochemistry as you specialized as you go narrower in these fields you are going to have lot of different uh, ideas in you what you want to do and how you can to can contribute your own uh, interests or your own specialization or your um, um, within you you are having the talent within you and you can contribute in the form of the research for the the pay, pay scale can start from somewhere around 50000 to 1 lakh and it goes higher and when you take botany as a career in the industry you can go for crop improvement 
scientific writing and environmental monitoring. So these are the important fields in the industrial areas where you can contribute as a botanist. And if you are interested for a non-profit organization, you can work in botanical gardens and museums. In academics, if you are into botany and you are going into academics, it starts with the instructor's job, the technician job, and the professional job. Those are the important jobs which can be taken as an academician. You want to be an educator. There you can work in nature centers and in secondary schools with, as well. These, are, uh, these um, uh, type of jobs are for creating the awareness and putting in mind of all the local mass, what the plant is all about, what nature is all about. So, so all this, uh, this is a, you are a nature educator there and you are uh, contributing to the awareness of the general public. And in the government departments, you can work for conservation de um, department, the land management department, you can work as policy makers and you can work for the law, in the, in like environmental laws. And there are so many things where you can contribute. Now, I wanted to share some of the things like, as students, you know that where you need to work and you have your options, you can explore your options there in those type of places. Now, other than that, nowadays there are so many government fundings where you can give your ideas and generate projects. So how you can generate a project in Bhakti and from when you can generate the project. So let us go to it in a chronological manner. Or the projects which we can do now that um, I think 2021 and 22, it's the year for this, um, um, like NCTAC has uh, given for the Science Congress, they have given ecosystem for, um, for sustainable living is the, uh, the idea behind it how we can go for sustainable living. So when we are uh, into the sustainable living, when the idea is that how sustainable development can be uh, carried out and how it, it is good for society, so the projects can be subdivided into some sub-themes. They have also, the NCTSC has subdivided into five sub-themes where the ideas of the projects which I need to explain to you that these are the areas where you need to work now and I think the government is ready to come up with some do something for sustainable development with its five sub themes and the projects relating to it a project first project will be the ecosystems for sustainable living the first sub theme would be the ecosystem how ecosystem is uh, will be necessary for sustainable living how you can generate projects of ecosystem for sustainable living. Uh, living. So as a botanist, you can do the study of any agro ecosystem. That's very important. And these type of projects, if you can write and de uh, develop yourself some uh, types of guidelines and all, and make it into a project form and submit it to the government, I'm sure they are going to accept it. And as um, students of BSc as well as MSc, there are, I, I'll go in my further slides where you can apply when, uh, when you're a student at that particular moment. So the, the ideas are the study of agroecosystem is one where it's very much necessary for a sustainable living in the ecosystem for sustainable living. Then there is a plant called Delenia indica. I hope uh, because in Northeast and East, we, um, we eat this fruit, which is having lot of vitamin C and lots of medicinal value. But we should say that this is a traditional fruit now. I feel in my childhood days, I used to, we used to have it in our house, but I don't know with, whether people are having, whether in North India, this plant is, uh, people are aware of this plant. It's a huge tree with fruits, a um, big, big ball size fruit, and uh, with the scales coming out of it, with uh, having a lot of juicy uh, vitamins inside it. So this is a plant which is getting slowly, people are not using it. So we need to conserve this type of plant. So this, this plant is of Northeast and Eastern side. So conservation status 
you should see how this plant need to be conserved. So conservation status of Delinea indica needs to be done. Then for the crops to develop well and to get rid of the different types of insects, evaluation of pollinator diversity in the ecosystem. That also is a good project which needs to be done by the students, by you all. So if, uh, that is for the development of the crop system. Then a systematic study of different fruit bearing plants. We have a lot of fruit bearing plants. So if we do a systematic study with its classification, its uses, so that the awareness of the fruit be known to all. And nowadays we should go to the natural systems so that a, a project dealing with the fruit bearing plants with a systematic study needs to be done very well. Then impact of the human activity on flora. So the flora of a place needs to be studied well, their abundance and how that flora is impacting the, uh, the, uh, that place and the human activity on that flora. And so uh, when we study the flora in detail with its abundance, this is a type of ecological study where the statistical data and all that should be maintained. So that also is a good project. Then one of the things, most important thing is the alien species. So we, uh, you all must be knowing so many of the alien species in uh, plant species, even in animals it's there, but uh, as a botanist, we should know the invasive alien species study. We should study the invasive alien species and what is the impact on the local biodiversity and what are the different control measures, how it can be controlled. So why I'm telling this, if you are you know, residing in an area and you come across this alien species, you should see that how they, are, they have been in, invading the whole thing. Because if they invade, the native species are going to get, um, the, uh, it's going to have an impact on the native species. So how to control this alien species, study those alien species and their impacts on the local biodiversity and how to control. Then organic in the same ecosystem as sustainable development, we can go for the organic components that is influencing the soil properties at the different ecosystems. There are so many different types of ecosystems. So how the organic component are influencing the soil properties that needs to be looked into. Then it's, this is one of the very important things that needs to be done, the indicator plants of the groundwater. So what are the indicator plants which are influencing the groundwater? And lastly, in this project, in this type of project, a market survey should be done on the potential demand of medicinal plants. How much people are aware of the medicinal plants and what is their potential demand? A market survey can be done by a student and given as a project. Then the second sub theme by the development is appropriate Ma'am, sorry to sorry to interrupt you, ma'am. You have uh, five six minutes more. Okay, ma'am. Okay, sir. Uh -huh. Okay, sir. It is already thirty minutes, you know, and uh, uh -huh. it was. Okay, it, I'll just join up first. Yeah, yeah. It is really a wonderful lecture. I'm 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 listening very carefully, and it is a very beautiful lecture, okay. beautifully designed. Thank, Thank, you, you, so so much. Much. Thank you so much. But you know, time has its own limits, so you have to sum up. In, yeah, yeah. I'll just read the, those things. I'll not explain. Sure, them. sure, sure, sure. Okay. So appropriate technology, you can go for preservation of food. What type of technology for preservation of food by drying process, wastewater technology, renewable energy from biomass, portable planters in old tires, and landscape which will promote biodiversity, the land management, and the easier or the cheaper means to grow the vegetable by hydroponics. Then agricultural techniques would be there for organic farming and irrigation. Air pollution problem needs to be a botanist can go well um, uh, ahead in this uh, type of uh, topic, air pollution, by trapping the pollution by plants. Problem of monoculture farming should be uh, uh, looked into and land use management should be done. And social innovation, you can have smart houses where solar technology, rainwater harvesting systems, that should be done. Responsible decision on festivals and the green idea. 
then the design development and modeling for sustainable development go for crop planning as a botanist land use change by counting the forest and agricultural area and the biodiversity loss analysis can be made as a project then traditional knowledge that is the last sub theme but traditional knowledge system can be um, done for uh, sustainable development you can go for bamboo drip irrigation medicinal plant use practice followed for say, various ailments use of herbal medicine for treatment of dengue fever ethnobotanical study and traditional indigenous knowledge for uh, coping with the climate vulnerability then the chronological status of botany see from the school level you can go you can start with the primary and the secondary school students also can go for ncsc that is national children science congress where they can be recognized as child, child scientists and if you are in kvpy you go to uh, iasc and um, you can go for your research zeal uh, indian institute of science education and research research oriented study in the basic areas nicer again in your basic science research then as students of msc go for net jrf and srf csir and other government colleges and uh, national and state universities ars net gives you scope in the agricultural universities and in net net lectures if is eligibility condition for colleges and universities and ars exam as a agricultural research scientist then sponsored project to get from dbt dst which goes to state dst ius mof and for, uh, agricultural university state forest department as well individual projects you can go for from we have in gujarat the shod project where every science phd is given a fellowship so we have ample amount of fellowships in gujarat and there is a women scientist scheme the ugc national scholarship the rajiv gandhi national fellowship and student change programs where you submit your projects and get uh, your um, uh, fundings for doing your research and the job you can start from the bsc level at the indian forest ma'am your mic got mute yes i'm uh, audible sir yes okay. yes you are audible okay 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 just a minute only a li little bit is there it's going to get over you can uh, work as a uh, agriculturist and uh, horticulturist also then eco clubs like uh, i hope uh, you all are aware in colleges and universities also is eco clubs you can work for eco clubs with a coordinator i am also a coordinator for the eco club and you can all work with a group of students working to save environment and that is uh, moaf is uh, supporting it and uh, finally you work with the nasa scientists also and scientific projects at the bsc level where you get from dst the projects to do your bsc dissertation then uh, there is a vtp vacation pro training program in biodiversity where you can work as volunteers and even resource person for uh, training the uh, class 10 toppers of each district where they come in summer vacations and they get their training in uh, biodiversity going to the national parks also and uh, dna clubs are there where the science teacher is appointed that is a department of biotechnology natural uh, awareness club where they work for the uh, the science teacher as well as the group of students they work for the natural um, uh, awareness and they uh, go for meets where they exchange their ideas then the ncsc uh, conduct attending the uh, national children science congress ncsc is national council for science technology communication it is a uh, bst government of india program and uh, institute in, uh, and they do the national science congress where the children are awarded along in parallel with the national Ch science congress held uh, at the nation Uh, then we have our uh, different medicinal plant institutes where uh, botanists can work very well like csr i had worked in uh, immt nbri itrc icmr rmrc icr dmapr dbt ils nehu and state and central universities and uh, we you can work as botanists you can work as gr green auditors where you can work for the green audit of schools and colleges basing on your certificate on that the proper environmental plans can be suggested for the betterment uh, of the society the clean place to sustain so thank you all hope it was worth uh, sharing i don't know but uh, uh, let's see if you could uh, understand uh, maybe i was uh, um, a bit uh, uh, 
No, it was a wonderful and very informative lecture, ma'am. I'm so. Uh, Thank you so much. I'm sir. I'm 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 so happy uh, to listen all Not these things, and I'm really, you know, feeling great that I have uh, you. connected with you yeah, and yeah. Uh, got a chance to listen you to hear you. And I hope that the students would be certainly benefited by your lecture. You have you 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 have created so many dimensions of the botany that a student should be yes, you know they should have yeah. been informed uh, much better uh, like you have informed them. So now the paper is the lecture is open. If anybody has any doubt, yeah. any query, then please go ahead. Yes, anybody wants any uh, queries uh, to questions. Uh -huh. Any question from anybody? If you have any question or any query, you please go ahead. Else I should bind up. Uh, tell me. Though, please off your mic. Please, please mute your mic. Those who are uh, whose mics are not muted. So I th I think ma'am this is uh